another day where all we're asked to do is to practice. This is a precious opportunity. Think of all the people in the world who are forced to go to work in situations where they could easily get the disease. Other people who don't have any work at all, they're just trapped in their homes. All the people who, for some reason or another, don't have the opportunity to practice. So dedicate your practice to them and appreciate the opportunity you've got. Of course, practicing here doesn't mean just simply sitting with your eyes closed or doing walking meditation. It's all around. This is the generosity of helping with the chores, helping with the work that needs to be done. The virtue in keeping watch over your mouth as you inter interact with the people around you. All the perfections that you can develop in the course of the day. These are all part of the practice. I remember one time when we were just beginning to start work on the jedi and what Dhammasat did. We had an old monk who was there who worked in government service, and after retirement he decided to ordain and live his last years pretty easily. He saw there was going to be construction in the monastery, so he told a John Fung, he said, well, I, I've got to get out of here. And John Fung said, well, I still have some perfections I have to develop. Of course, in my opinion, John Fung was way ahead of the old monk in terms of perfections. But that really struck me. That he's looking for goodness in all areas, not just keeping his eyes closed. Because he himself, when he was younger, had been the type of monk who would spend a lot of time just meditating, avoiding construction work. And then when they did the celebration for the 25 centuries of Buddhism, and John Lee said one comment to him, he said, Look, if you don't help me, I'm going to die. So John Fung realized, okay, there was work to be done. And as he said, even, even if he died with a hammer in his hand, at least he'd be doing something good. So look at everything you're doing around the monastery as an opportunity to do, do good, to develop their perfections. There's a lot of people out there who don't have these opportunities. Each day you wake up, you remind yourself, okay, I've got another day here. It may not be the whole day, but at least I've got a, a day to practice. Survive the night. Let's see if you survive the day. Appreciate each day as it comes, as an opportunity to develop the perfections. Because when we leave this lifetime, you may not be sure where you're going, how many opportunities you're going to have. So take advantage of the opportunities while you have them right here, right now. <laughs>